Hi guys, okay so it's getting pretty late so it's really dark outside. Hopefully this lighting will be good enough for this tutorial. I'm going to be filming a tutorial for New Year's. Um, if you're not into like sparkly and crazy makeup, I would not even watch this because it's for a party. Wherever you're going to be doing on New Year's. So um, just stay tuned and also I'm just going to quickly show you guys. A lot of people have been asking for my makeup tour because I just got my new makeup organizer and I promise I will have one up but right now this is not organized at all it's just kind of in there so I'll just show you quickly so basically I just got this really big um, drawer thing from Target I'm just like see how it's not organized at all I just have everything in like one drawer and I have a lot of extra space I'm planning on making my collection grow so that's why and I have my brush holder at the top it's pretty easy for tutorials though because it has wheels in the bottom so I just wheeled it in my room and I'm gonna film this tutorial so hopefully it works out as planned and why am I showing you my backyard but there's snow now woohoo I'm gonna start off by using my Aveeno lotion I'm just gonna put it all over my face clip my hair back. It looks really weird, but don't even worry about it. I'm going to take my concealer. This is CoverGirl's Fresh Complexion Concealer. I just got it the other day. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put some under my eyes. It's been getting red lately because I'm sick. Okay, like that kind of blended it in with my finger. If you have a concealer brush, you can use that too, but I don't, so. Then we're going to use my foundation. I just work this in in swirling motions. Okay. And then I'm going to be taking my new blush palette. This is my BH Cosmetics 10 blush palette. And then I'm going to take this top color right here with my blush brush. Using this for my contour. I'm just going to put it right here. Kind of like on the hollows of your cheek. So yeah, I'm just going to work that in. If it's too dark on your skin, don't put as much on. But... I have to put a lot on for it to show up. So yeah, there we go. And then I'm going to take one of these blush colors. Pretty sure since the eyes are going to be crazy, I would just take any of these plain ones. Like, I'm going to take this one. Because it's just a light baby pink, so it's not going to be too overpowering. So I'm just going to do that. And that's the face, pretty much. Next thing you do is you prime your eyes. This is my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And go, I would go all the way up. Okay, so I've done it on this eye. And I did um, move my positions because the lighting's a little bit up bit over here. But not by much. I'm going to do it on this eye now. I took this pencil. I used this in my chorus concert tutorial. It's this Maybelline um, pencil. Um, The color is cold as ice. It's just like a big, thick... Um, shimmery white pencil and I'm just gonna cover my whole entire lid with this. If you want your makeup look to be really shimmery and stuff, this is perfect for that. So I'm just gonna put this all over my eyelid. And I'm just gonna blend that in a little. It'll be kind of sticky which is good because your eyeshadow should stick to that. I'm gonna take my Airy palette. Looks like this. Um, it's Enchanting Meadows. Um, I'm gonna take this color right here. Um, this color is called Chrome. It's just a wicked shimmery silver color. This kind of big eyeshadow brush from Sonia Kashuk. And I'm just going to pick some of that up. I'm going to pat this on the inner half of my eye. It's just a super, super shimmery silver color. So packing it over the white is going to be so shimmery. So after that, I'm going to take this color. This is Slate. It's, um, th then I'm just going to do this on the outer, like, one-third of the eye. To darken it a little. After do that, doing that, if you need to, you can just take a blending brush and just blend it out. 
going to take this crease brush, it's pretty big, um, and then I'm going to take the dark color, this is called Black Metal, it's just like a shimmery black co color, put this in the crease and actually bring it out a lot, like this. See? And then with my blending brush, I'm just going to blend it. Like that. Yeah, so once I've done that, I'm going to take the big eyeshadow brush again. And I'm going to take this e.l.f. palette. This is the smoky edition one. Um, it doesn't really matter which one you use. I'm just going to take the one that has this light skin tone as my highlight. my Coastal Scents liner brush and my Maybelline um, Eye Studio gel liner in black. I'm going to line my waterline with this. Like that. I'm going to line the top line as well. You can wing it out if you want, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it like that. And then the final part, this Too Faced Glitter Liner. It's just like a liquid liner. It's wicked shimmery, as you can tell. It's just the glitter. And I'm going to line over the black first. And then I kind of just messed up the other eye, so I just decided to do this. I put some on my finger some of the glitter and then I'm just going to kind of pat it all over my lid because it's just sparkle makes it even more shimmery and since this is liquid liner it will last all night like that great lash mascara okay so now I'm going to move on to lips for this look, you could do any type of lip color. You could just do a nude lip if this is crazy enough for you. Or you can do pink, uh, like a baby pink. Or you could do like a bright pink. Or you could do a red. I'm not really sure which one I'd want to do. So I'm just going to do chapstick. This is Blistex. This is just like a pink. I would take my Love & Beauty lip liner. This is in the color blush. This was only like a buck. And I'd line my lips. And I would take just this Wet Slicks Amazement lip gloss. This is like a pretty much just a bright pink. So you could do that if you wanted like a pink lip. I think that's pretty. It would match your outfit if you're wearing pink. Whatever you want. Or if you wanted, you could do um, a nude lip. This is um, Fairest Nude Lipstick. I love this stuff. And just... Do like a nude gloss over it. Look that nude because I just did pink lip gloss, so that's why. And that look good with that this look as well. I think it's New Year's. Go crazy, okay? So I would take this lip stain. I don't really know what color this is in, but it's just a really deep red. Any red lip gloss, I have a ton of different ones, but this is just Sheer Crimson by Coastal Scents. So this is definitely another good option. So this is pretty much the look. I'm sorry the lighting is pretty dark. Um, I should have planned this out a little better, but you can really customize this as much as you want. You don't have to do as much sparkle. You don't have to do... This color lip, you can do a different color lip, but this, I just think, is such a fun look. It's so shimmery. I don't know if it's exactly the easiest thing to tell on camera, but it is like, bam. You will be turning heads all night long. So, um, tell me what you think of this look, and hopefully some of you will try it out if you're going to a New Year's Eve party. Um, Happy New Year, ooh, 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 ooh. and bye guys.